If you've just installed Premiere Pro, you might be a little bit confused about what the difference is between the source monitor and the program monitor. I'm here to tell you about what the source monitor is and how you can use it to make faster edits. So the first thing to do is think of the source monitor as like your editing monitor. You can bring clips into here and you can look at the source footage as it was filmed on your camera and copied into your computer and you can create little edits that you can drop and drag into your sequence. If you don't see the program monitor or the source monitor on your screen any time here you can go to window and select program monitor there or source monitor there. So if I was to take this clip here you can see it opens up in the source monitor as you can see over here. The program monitor just stays the same and what I can do is take the playhead here, I can scrub through, I can play through. This is just one way to review your clip. There are other ways of doing it. Um, I can also drop the resolution here if I want to uh, let the clip play back quicker on my machine. Say I wanted to uh, make an edit though, how do I actually do an edit? Well, you can just use these wee brackets here to set an in point, play through. Maybe I want to stop the clip there and set an out point, that's fine. There's also shortcuts, there's the I key, you can play that and that sets an endpoint. If I push the O key, that sets an endpoint there. The program monitor, on the other hand, is what your final sequence will look like once it's rendered out. This will include any effects and color grades that you might have applied on top of that. Brilliant, so that's the edit I want, but still not showing up in the program monitor, which is where we want it to be. What I need to do is drag this into a new sequence down on the timeline here, and you can see here there's no sequence, but I can just easily click the video here drag it down and you can see it just that little plus icon drop it there and automatically it creates a sequence based on the properties of that clip. There are plenty of these little icons here that do different things for instance if I was to use text graphics whatever I could stick on the title safe there and I know that all my graphics have to be in there giving you that professional look or if I was color grading and I wanted to uh, compare one clip to the other, I can compare the clip there and I can go into that into a new tutorial. Just make sure you leave a comment below to let me know if that's a tutorial you'd like to see. Uh, plenty of other ways you can customize the program monitor here. It's worth checking all of these out on your own, but if you want an explanation again, all you need to do is ask me. Let's just do this with another clip. I'll set my endpoint there, scrub through. You know what? I actually don't like that. I'm going to move the endpoint to there and scrub through again, there you go. And then just insert that in between those two clips, shifts it along. Let's go play that back here. Not the best edit, but you can see how easy it is to use these two monitors to make a faster edit. Now it's time to go out and get your own footage. Bring it back into Premiere Pro and see if the source monitor actually helps you to make faster edits and use the tools in the program monitor to actually give your video that professional look. Make sure you check out this playlist here. It's full with other uh, things you might not know about Premiere Pro and a few frequently asked questions that might help you become a quicker and faster editor because if we can make you a faster editor then you can spend more time making creative videos.